on this zoom all right now it's time we go into a business and uh this is what we're gonna do they told me you have a headset please help me with your headsets i'll be glad all right uh, this is our training i told you that we are starting with uh with uh, this training of uh of uh of uh of what uh, this training of the new members that if in case a new member has joined the business what do you so you know the school where I studied my A level, it is really secondary school. We learn by doing, we learn by doing. So we learn by doing. At the moment you get information here, it's not enough to have just the information, but also to keep put in practice what you learn today. So that is the new activated members training, which we need to do all of us. That's where we have come from. And uh, on this, we, we, we gave you last people, for people who were not here last time, I gave you the welcoming note. And also we studied about the cash flow quadrant for the people who are not here. And about the cash flow quadrant whereby some people are employees, some people are self-employed, some people are business owners and others are investors. But if you want to attain financial freedom, you have to be in a B and I quadrant. That is a business quadrant where digital adverts is that you can do business with digital adverts and also you can go into the investment uh, quadrant, the I quadrant whereby money is working for you and we found God uh, we have now one investment uh, scheme that is capital chicken which is on board right now you can put some of the extra money you have into a uh, capital chicken such that uh, your money can work for you so ladies and gentlemen you have if you are going to be making money you need to be in the i and the b quadrant the e and s quadrant they are good but uh they they will always need your time for you to make money that you have to be there there's no leverage you have to be there you have to be uh, they are every time in order to make the money. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the B, uh, the B quadrant and the I quadrant, we saw that uh, it is one of the ways you can easily become rich and create a real wealth. Okay, we looked at also the power of leverage, that whereby if you are going to make money, you need to be uh, having leverage, and leverage is the power of using other people's resources, other people's time other people's energy and other people's money to make money. We saw that last week and uh, I believe uh, we learned a lot. We saw the requirements you need to set up a business. If you're going to set up a business like Twaha, okay, TK restaurant, what do you need? You need capital investment. You need overheads like premises. You need salary for workers. You need bills. Then the risk is high. In the case uh, there is a fire outbreak, thieves, okay, the risk is very high. You need business skills. You know, you should know how to prepare the Visalia very well. You have to be in the kitchen and go and prepare for people. You understand? Then you need a time investment, okay? You have to invest in time to hire, fire people. And for business to be able to look to get some good profits, it has to be done for a good number of years for you to be able to uh, harvest some good profits. Then the marketplace, Twaha is selling, Kizurusania is in Entebbe, okay? So it's very hard to, to, to expand, expand your business to other marketplaces. So we saw that network marketing is the easiest way to join this big quadrant, whereby you can involve and benefit from all the, 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 the benefits of becoming a business owner or an investor, but using little capital, which is only 100,000. You don't need premises, you don't need an office, you can work from home, you can come back from the beach, okay? The risk is very low. We don't have to insure anything in digital adverts because fire cannot uh, break out and burn our applications. <laughs> the only insurance needed is by the company. It's the only the company that needs to, to manage the risks for you. So you don't have to manage any risks. You do not need too much business skills. However, you have to attend the trainings and learn more how to run this business as you're being paid. The time investment is needed, but not so much. That time reaches that whereby you don't put in time but money keeps on coming every single day. Then the marketplace, you can work 
in a borderless economy whereby you can work and from Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Ethiopia, etc. So, ladies and gentlemen, network marketing is the easiest way for you to be able to tap into the B and I code. And we saw that last week, we looked at what network marketing is for those people who are new and you have never been involved before into network marketing, whereby this is your first company which has a networking concept on, on it. So we talked about how do you expand the business? You need to lead generations, uh, lead, lead generation whereby you need to find new people. You have to recruit new customers to buy the products uh, like advertisement, profiling, survey. You need also to recruit, recruit our fellow networkers, recruit people who are going to help you expand the network. Then you have to go into the building. That is the training of the people which we are doing uh, today. Uh, we looked at when you get someone on board, uh, when they have signed up and they have activated their account, spare time and take them through this. You as a member, if you're going to make money in this business and make it very big, you need to know all about the presentation. So we looked at the five P's of a presentation. The five P's whereby you have to be mastering the profile, you must master the products of the company, you must master the payment plan, that is the compensation plan. How do they pay? How do we pay to people? Then you have to look into the promotions. What promotions do we have on board? Then number five, the projections. You should look into also the projections of the company. What is the future looking like? And I told you that when you're doing this business, you need to have a, a booklet, okay? You need to have a booklet, a booklet which is uh, tangible, which is physical. You need a booklet which you can go and uh, present to your people. Don't present business using your head. You should be opening. You should be opening the booklet, okay? You should be opening the booklet. As you see this booklet, you know, it can help you. I know having a phone is very good uh, to present from your phone because you have a PDF. Having your laptop is very nice for you that you have a laptop where you present to them. Uh, having an iPad is very good, but it's not duplicable. Not everyone has an iPad. Not everyone has a laptop. So you need to just find this booklet such that your team members, your new people should have a booklet, each of them, where they can present the business from. Some people, their phones are not that good. I, I think you know, you're aware of that. Some of the people, their phones are not that good. So just make sure that you pick this booklet from Vanessa at office. Vanessa has the books at only 10,000, okay? So make sure that you get these books. And even we are moving uh, in the regional tour, we shall come with these books, come with money in, if we are in your region and pick uh, the booklets. Are we together? That is very important. So we looked also at uh, why digital adverts. We have been always covering this in our presentation. I'll never go, go deeper into the uh, details, but we should remember that digital adverts is the future of advertisement. We looked also on the rates, how much money is paid by a client if they want to run an advert. So that's where we ended uh, last time. And today we are covering uh, the technical part of business, okay? So we looked at uh, the first about the business, understanding the concept. Now we are understanding uh, the technical part. So if you're new, you should know this. And if you are old, your new members should learn this. Your team members, all of them should learn about, about this, okay? And the technical training, on the technical training part, what do you need to learn? What do you need to do? Number one, the dashboard. Okay, the dashboard is your online business office that tracks your business and you can access it through this website. I've seen people who come to me and tell me, coach, how do I access my account? I don't know how to access my account. You understand? Some of them, they have registered it through the applications. Some of them, you've sent them the link and they have activated the accounts. But after the activation, they say, how do I log in? I've had those questions. So to log in, make sure that you give them the website, which is www.digitaladverts.co. And also you can tell them they can access the application at, at Play Store and App Store, and uh, they can search the app with Digital Adverts LTD. So that is the first part of uh, 
training technically the people how to find the website, how to find the application. The second thing you need to give them always is make sure that they, you give them their username and their passwords and make sure that they don't forget their usernames and the passwords. That is very, very important to remember always the username and the password. Okay, next, uh, we're going to look into the referral link. So the referral link, I have met people who ask me, coach, how do I share my link? How do I share my link? How do I start to share my link? So this is very simple to share your link. Uh, you need just to, uh, what is a referral link first of all? A referral link, these are some of the technical words or terminologies you should learn. Number one is the referral link. So what is a referral link? This is a link which you share with others who want to join digital adverts. A link should end with your username. So just make sure you look at your username, at your link. Your link should end with your username. If your link is not ending with your username, it might mean that you are having a wrong link. Okay. And after sharing this link with others, your, uh, it means these people will register under you and you'll be the one entitled to earn 40,000. Now imagine when you're sharing your applying this link. I've seen people, when you share a link with them and they register, after registering and they want to bring another person on board, what they do, they share the applying link. <laughs> and guess what? The applying is make, make the money. So you should make sure that you share your link, okay? And uh, where do you find your link? You, you'll find your link at uh, the menu, at, at the menu. Okay, this is here, but uh, let me try to do it practically. Let me try to do it practically here and we see what we can do. Let me try to do it practically. Uh, I believe you're, you're seeing my, uh, is my screen visible? Oh, it is paused. Uh, I can see the screen is paused. Who is posing my screen? <laughs> okay, okay. I wanted to show it practically here. I want to show it practically here, and we see. Let me try to open up something here. See if it can work. Because I find find to want to show you something. that's now okay so uh, we, i would like to do this uh, practically uh, practically how how do how do someone so you, ha you have to go on the website which is uh www.digitaladvice.co i believe my screen is clear and uh once you reach here what you do you come on login and you log into your account as you can see there is login here in yellow down here where you see this the castle uh, but also there is a login uh, up here, which you can also use. So you, you use either of the two. Uh, this is both on the laptop and also if you're on the phone. Now, this is where you log in using the website. The link is specifically right now on the website. We haven't shifted it yet to the, to the what? To the application. So what you do, you come and uh, you come on the login part here and you say login so you have to must must have a username and also the password so you put in the username you put in the password you can click on the remember such that always when you come to login you don't have to put in you have to put put in the details again you just click and you say i'm logging into my account so you log into the account uh, that's how you log into your account so make sure that you give your downline uh, the username and also the the password. So when you when you log into the account, uh, the first thing you need to do is to go on the there is there is uh, there is this part here. You see these uh, boxes. There are four boxes up here where my cursor is. So that is the menu. Uh, this menu normally on the on the phone it is visible, and also on the laptop is visible. So you tap it, you get uh, this menu. You see this menu part. So we are looking for the referral link. 
so what you do the referral link we said it is on the on the marketing uh, button so the marketing is down here before log out down here so you tap marketing so once you tap marketing uh you tap marketing you go still below marketing there is another another tool marketing tools so you click on marketing tools so when you find marketing tools uh that is where uh, your referral link is so you can see my referral link is here okay it is here and it is ending it's ending with uh, my username hope you can see my username so ladies and gentlemen that's how you pick your referral link teach people how the link is uh, got and uh, that will be the first step into teaching your team how to expand the business because you cannot expand this business alone once you share a link make sure that your person you brought in business can also share share the link okay all right so i will go back uh, where i was and uh, we continue learning uh -huh. i will go back here where we were so i was looking at uh, the referral link okay the referral link how do you access the referral link so i told you that the referral link should end with your what it should end with your uh your your username is this clear now guys uh, Kathy, is my screen visible? Yes, coach. Everything is well illustrated. The screen Thank is you. clear. You're audible. Thank you so much. All right. So I'll continue with the second part, the second part of registration. So, ladies and gentlemen, before even I go on the registration, uh, this is a simple the process of creating your digital account. Okay. Uh, using a referral link, you can use the sponsor name or it can even be optional okay so this this is now where i have to be to caution all of you guys in business that uh, many people today they go ahead and they talk about the business with their friends with their colleagues but they are reluctant to tell them the importance of the referral link so this is very 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 dangerous because today on our application People can join digital adverts without using a referral link, without using a sponsor name, okay? Because it is optional. Admin is there. There is an admin link or there is an admin option whereby a person joins and the person will go directly under admin. Why did we do this? Because we, as a company, we are growing. Some people will hear us about us in the news. Others will hear about us on the billboards. Others will hear about us like when they walk around, they hear people talking about digital adverts. So we have got people who come to inbox and say, coach, I want to join business, but I don't have an sponsor. Where do I get a sponsor from? So we, we gave them this option because digital adverts is bigger than every one of us. So the people who hear about us, okay, on the internet, on the blogs, okay? When they come on the application, let them be able to register. That's why we have the admin link. So if you're reluctant when your downline is registering, when the person you brought in business is registering, and you're reluctant about telling them the importance of using a link, the person will automatically go under admin, and please, don't come and say, Coach, my person went under admin. Can you transfer that person to me? Once the person has used admin, it's gone. Are you together? It's gone. Don't come lamenting. Don't come crying. Coach, omuntu wange, omuntu wange, bamutute, admin, yamutute. No, my money went. The person went. So if you are, if you are to going to be do business, guys, be serious. Be serious on the referral link. Don't just be reluctant about them. So share the link with your people. Tell them if they wish sponsor because it's optional. Tell them use my username. Use my username. So give them a username for the sponsor. Okay. So we continue. So who is the sponsor? For the people who are new in this kind of industry, sometimes when you talk about that I'm going to be your sponsor, some they think that you're telling them that you're going to pay for them money. No, it's not paying for them money. <laughs> Sponsoring is just a 
uh, being like your guide. I'm going to be your guide in this business to make money. So that's what they call a sponsor. And let me tell you, in business, we only have one sponsor. You should only have one sponsor. You cannot have two sponsors. You should only have one sponsor. So who is the sponsor? This is the username of the person who directly introduced you to digital adverts business opportunity. So if you are, if you are, you have brought any person in business, just know that you are a sponsor. So you should do the work of a sponsor. Don't sponsor people and you behave as if you haven't sponsored them. Once you sp sponsoring people is like giving birth. You should nurture, you should raise your people. So if you're a sponsor, if you have brought someone in business directly under you and you've made 40,000, it means you are the sponsor of that person. And if you're a sponsor, don't just behave as if you're a baby. You are the mother of that child who has just joined the business, so act as a sponsor. Then number two, we have what we call a username. Now, this is a special name that identifies your single account. A username should be unique. No one can have the username like yours, okay? And if it is taken, you should get another one. A username shouldn't contain space in between, okay? A username and the password gives you access to your account. Keep it protected and secured. Now, some people reluctantly uh, give their username to their friends. This is my username, this is my password. You can log in and do it for me. People will access your accounts and they will take your money and they will blame the company. So tell the people you are recruiting that let them protect the username, let them protect their passwords. So when a person is creating an account, make sure that when a person is creating that account, you guide them what a username is, that a username shouldn't have a space. A username should, should be single, like one, one username in the system. If my username is Zion, there is no another Zion in the system. I'll be one Zion in the system. Are we together? So number two, let them protect their usernames and their passwords. Some people, when they join the business, they reluctantly just fill in whatever they want to fill in. And at the end of the day, they come asking, I forgot my password. I forgot my username. Because when they were joining, they were reluctant about this. So as uplines, make sure that you tell your people that this is a very important key. It's like a pin to your, to your mobile money uh, account. So let them have the username secured and also their password. Also tell them not to give the passwords away because the moment you pass, you give your password away, people will steal your accounts. I've seen people stealing accounts. There is a tutorial I made uh, and on one of my accounts. And uh, when I was making the tutorial, I logged in when, when I was recording. And even the password, I put in the password when I was recording. So the tutorial have, had my username and it had my password. So I gave the tutorial to the members to learn. I think I was teaching about how to share, I think, a referral link. And guess what? One hour later, I go to this account. I try to log in. The account can't log in. The password is changed. Someone, I, I know the name. I have kept the name. But I'll first keep it uh, until I get the phone because I say, <laughs> Someone logged into my account, changed the password. Can you imagine? And guess what? It was a founding member's account. I tried to access the account, I cannot. I go to forgot password. I try to put in the email. They tell me the email cannot be found. The guy logged into my account, changed even the email, changed the password, changed the name of the account, account Najibba. Najitwala. Member what digital adverts. Abba chief trainer. Or company of Siru. <laughs> so what I did, I just went to the technical team and tell them, technical, my account has been hijacked. Please help me retrieve it. And my account was retrieved. And uh, I saw the person who had changed it. I saw the email, I saw the number. I saw the names. I said, okay, fine. I recovered my account. So once you are playing with your accounts, someone is not playing. Someone is going to steal your accounts. And most of you, you are not taking this business serious, but before you know, your accounts will be gone. Someone again, as 
especially the founding member accounts. Those accounts are not serious. Those accounts, like they are not known usual. I'm selling them at uh, 500,000 personally. I, you come to me, I buy it if you are my downline. I buy it at 50,000. Eh? So username, I talk about the username and the passwords. Uh, tell them to protect their passwords. Then number three is the activation. The activation, this is the process of paying for the app. Now, activation is paying for the app. Our activation is not investment. Okay, in Uganda we are paying 100,000. In Kenya we are paying 3,200 Kenyan shilling. So you, when you are activating, you can use mobile money or you can use an activation code. For your information, our business is not an investment business. It, this is just business. You saw in the code branch, we have the B, we have the I. Now, our business digital adverts is in the business code branch. So when you're paying 100,000, you're not investing with us. You're buying a premise. You're buying, you're buying this business of digital adverts. So for you to make money, you should do what you should do to make money. So this is not an investment program. I saw someone was asking me, coach, uh, does Bank of Uganda know about you? I told him, why should Bank of Uganda know about me? Because you are receiving people's money deposit. I told him, this is not a deposit. This is buying an application. We are not depositing money on application. This is just to buy. I'm selling my merchandise, which is the application, which is the activation. And uh, some people will ask you, why do I have to activate my account? Uh, another person was on the Zoom, I think. Uh, there is a Zoom I made on, um, on Thursday. And the person was telling me, Coach, this is too much money, 100,000. Wow, your app is expensive. It's good, but it's expensive. I told him, my brother, the word expensive is not in the vocabulary because expensive determines the value of what you're buying. It becomes expensive if the value is less. It becomes cheap when the value is high. And once you don't know the value of something, even a 10,000 will be expensive for you. Are we together? I asked him that, sir, don't you know that in the shops, uh, in the phone shops, there is a phone of 30,000. And also there is a, a shop selling phones at 3 million, 4 million. Yet they are all phones. So should we say that the phone of 4 million is expensive? Or the phone of uh, 30,000 is cheap? And people are buying all these phones. There are people who are buying phones of 30. There are people who are buying phones of 4 millions, 10 millions. Why? It's because of the value they offer. So I told him there are applications on the, uh, on the system which are free. Like WhatsApp is free. Facebook is free. YouTube is free. Are we together? And the other applications which are free. But ours is not free. Ours, you pay 100,000. So why do I have to pay the 100,000? Tell me an application that when you pay your bills, they don't charge you transaction fees. That you pay a bill of 100,000 of water instead of charging you 4,000, 5,000 from mobile money, we are not charging you. Show me any, any application which does that. And show me an application which pays bills and also it gives you cash back of 3%. You pay a bill of 100,000, they don't charge you fees, charges, transaction charges, but they give you again 3,000 on your account. Show me that, that application. I ask him, show me an application that when you, every time you watch an advert, they pay you money. Show me one. I ask him, show me an application which you can go and set up your own store, your shop, and you sell your things that every evening you come and you change the display. When you're not paying hosting, I told him, show me an application like that. If you have it, then it means we are expensive. But if you don't have an application like that, we are cheap. I told him I was in a room when I was doing a presentation. After presenting, I asked the people that how many of you, you can pay 1 million for this application if it was the registration fee. And guess what? 
80% of the hands in the room were up. It's because they have understood the value of what they are buying. So if you go out there and someone tells you that why do I have to pay? Don't just keep quiet and be puzzled. Answer them because the answer is there. Something is expensive if you have not discovered the value. Then what is an activation code? Some people say, coach, how do I get an activation code? An activation code is very simple. This is a system generated set of numbers which can activate an account. An activation code is used once. Once, It's like a serial. Do you remember uh, those vouchers of airtime which we used to buy? So you buy this voucher, you scratch it, and you load the airtime on your phone, and that sc scratch card is now expired. It cannot be used again. So that is the same with our activation codes. They cannot be used again. So you need to log into the account. How do I get uh, the activation codes? The activation code, you can create it in your system yourself. If you have money on your account, you can go ahead and create the code in the system by yourself. Or you can buy a code from our agents. We have agents in every region. Or you can have, buy a code from our country director, that is uh, Madame Leila and Coach Ronnie in Kenya. You can also buy codes uh, from your uplines. You can tell your upline, I have my money here, send me a code. So they should give you a code. A code, uh, I would like, let me also go in the system to show you how to create a code in case you have money. How do you create a code if you have money? Okay, uh, okay. Let me show you this. Uh, how do you create a code? Okay, I'm going back to the Chrome. Where is Chrome? Am I account here? Okay. So how do I create a code? For people who don't know how to create a code, I come back into my account. Remember, I go back to the dashboard. Uh, the dashboard, that's where, the, that's the home uh, of, uh, of your account. The moment you have logged in. So you can create also a code, a code uh, in your account. So you can see now, this is my, uh, my account and I have a balance on my account of 125 account balances here. 125,000 is uh, the balance on my account. So I can, how do I create a code? So I just come back here on the menu and I go, I look for activation codes. So activation codes here, every one of you, you have this in your accounts, the activation codes. So you click activation codes. So once you click activation codes, there is what they call create code or my codes. So you first come here on create code. You come on create code. So you tap or create code. So once you tap create code, uh, it will bring you on this page. Okay, create codes. So when you come here on create codes, uh, you can see the balance you have on the account. So you can see my balance. It is 125,000 on my account. So what you do, you come and say create code. So you put here the number here, the number of codes. How many codes do you want to create? So you put one because now one code is 100,000. So after that, you put in your password and you create code. The moment you create code, automatically your code will be created. And uh, once it's created, it is it comes and uh, it is uh, located uh, here in my codes. Let me let me show you here. Okay, my codes. Okay. So the, the, once you have created the code, it comes in, in what they call uh, my codes, okay? My codes, uh, that's where you pick the code from and you activate your, your account. My network is a little bit slow, but uh, we shall get there. We shall get there. Let me look at this uh, chat room, what is here? Uh -huh. Let me read something here. Lydia says what? Yeah, someone was taking my account. Only 500, I sell mine at 1.5. Am I selling his accounts at 1.5? And you must have 10 immediate activation to be qualified. <laughs> That's good. That's how expensive our founding member accounts are. Julia says for me, I'm going to keep my founding member accounts till when their value will grow uh, to 10 million. It's okay, it's okay. You can keep your accounts until the value you need raises. Okay, 
So I was talking about activation codes. So once you click here, yeah, once you have created the code, you can come here in my codes and check. Mm -hmm. uh, you check my codes. Now, when you check my codes, this is where you find your codes. I think you can see these are codes I've created so far in my account. So these are codes. You can see them. These are codes here. So a code should have uh, how many letters? That's how a code is. That's how a code uh, looks like. So a code, but all these mines are used. You can see they are used. Yes, 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 they are used. They are used by people because I create codes and I sell them to people who would give me money. So they give me money and I sell them the codes. So most of the time I don't use my, I don't use my money on the system uh, to withdraw it. I just use it uh, in to purchasing codes. I purchase codes and I sell them to members and uh, that's how I withdraw my money most of the time. I normally don't uh, withdraw because I don't want to incur that 2000 cost. So that's how you guys uh, create an activation code. That's where you get an expression for the hope. Someone is learning today. How, how do we share uh, the codes? So I'll go back to the training where I was sharing. Okay, so activation codes, I'm done. So you can get an activation code from your upline, from the country director. You can get it from your, from your regional agent, or you can create a code by yourself. Okay, the next word is the upline. So some people ask me, coach, now who is my upline? Now upline, the word here is uplines. You can have uplines. A sponsor, you can have a sponsor, not sponsors. You can have a sponsor, but upline, you can have uplines. So who are uplines? Uplines, these are the people who came in business before you and they are directly above you in the referral network. So what is the referral network? The referral network is the people, for example, this is level one, you can see here, level one, then level two, then we have level three, level four, level five. Now this is my referral network. Now this referral network, if you are on level four, the people on level three, level two, level one, they are your uplines. In the case you are in the same line, okay, for example, Zion, one, Zion one, Zion two, Zion two, Zion three. So all those who are following in the line, the people above you who came first in business are your uplines. Let me tell you one thing. You can have an upline, but when this upline is not your sponsor, okay? Or you can have a sponsor, when at the same time is your upline because the sponsor is above you. So a sponsor can be a sponsor and an upline, but an upline can be an upline when it's not a sponsor. Then downlines, these are the people who came in business after you and are directly under you in the referral network. These words are common, commonly used in network marketing, but some people are new. Please go ahead and teach them this, who an upline is, who a downline is, then who is a cross line? These are the people who are in the same business with you. They are in digital adverts, but are neither your uplines nor your downlines. They're not your uplines. They're not your downlines. Those people are called cross lines. Now, when you're dealing with cross lines, be, be careful. Be careful when you are dealing with cross lines in this business. Cross lines are people you find in the business. You come at digital adverts, you find someone here, you become friends, you are all doing the same business, but these people, they are not your upline, they are not your downlines. Be very careful with such people. Why? A cross line, if a cross line is not genuine in business, will always want to distract you. These are the people you find, they are a business, is not your upline, is not your sponsor, but is taking you to other businesses. He's distracting you. He's always negative. Akuze Bali and they talk things which are not coordinating with the business. Cross lines, be careful with them. You can tell them, please come and teach my people. He come and teaches your people. And guess what? He sponsored the person under himself because he's not benefiting anything. He's not your upline, he's not your downline, okay? Cross lines, not all of them, they are bad, 
But let me tell you, be careful with cross lines. They are in the same business with you. But remember, whatever you're doing, they are not benefiting. So they may find a way how to benefit from you. So they will go and join another business and they will call you to be their downline. Be careful with cross lines. I will not go deeper into that, but be careful with them. Because they are in business, you find them a digital adverse, but you don't know the reason why they are here. You see them in the room, but you don't know the reason why they are in the room. Be careful with them. Most of the time, cross lines are a source of distraction. But sometimes even I find uplines who act that, like, like that. It's like he's standing on, st uh, sitting on the branch of a tree and you're cutting the tree with your branch, you're, you're sitting. You're distracting your downlines. Oh God, that's not good at all. It's not good in business. So cross lines, uplines and downlines, those are that part. Then we shall go on the advertiser's code. Now, the advertiser's code, some of you, I have found people who ask me, coach, where do I find my advertiser code? I don't know where I get my advertiser code. So an advertiser code, this is a code generated once, once an account is activated. And if used while advertising, it fetches 13% commission on your account. Now, a, 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 an advertiser code comes only to activated accounts. If the account is not activated, it does not have an advertiser code. So you only get an advertiser code once you activate your account and it doesn't change it doesn't change it is always the same so once you go into the market and people want to advertise their goods make sure that you give them your advertiser code if you're making flyers to give people to advertise in the field put your advertiser code there because the people a person may join the business to advertise their business but they have not activated the account so once they read that part to tell them to put the advertiser code. They should be having your code and always they put your code there and you get your commission. Because some people may advertise in the night, in the morning when they have not even called you, but they should put your advertiser code in order to, to fetch your 13% commission. So I will go to show you how, how an advertiser code can be good in the system here. So I'll go back on... Uh, let me go back here on, in, my, in my account uh, where I was showing you how do you get an advisor code. So I think you can see you can see this part here where my casa is, where my name is, Matimbo Alex Zion. Okay. Now here, when you tap here, you can see that drop down, profile, settings, and logout. So you come and click. You come and click profile click profile so once you click profile the profile will open so once the profile opens you will be able to see your advertiser code you can see my advertiser code it is here below the profile it is here so that's where you find your advertiser code copy it and be able to paste it when you are running an advert okay and uh be uh able to fetch your 13% commission. Kat is saying, thank you for opening my eyes more on cross lines. Yeah, those are cross lines. Cross lines, they are not benefiting in your business. Sometimes you can be, now in our business, let me also uh, point out this. You see our business gives commission up to five levels if you're a VIP. If you're a founding member, it stops on uh, level four. If you are an uh, ordinary lifetime member, it ends on level three. Now, the people on level four, the people on level five, level six, level seven, whatever you do, you don't benefit. You get my point? I'll give my, my example as me, Coach Zion. Me, Coach Zion, I earn up to level five. But there are, there are people I know in my team, they are on my level five, like Musei Roni. Musei Roni, uh, Roni. Uh, Kazo, Agent Kazo, is on my level five. Uh, John Enns uh, is on level five. I have many people, you guys, I think even uh, even uh, this lady, who, uh, Agent uh, Lamo, who was the legend agent of Lamo, 
Uh, right, right now she's the agent of uh, this code who I'm forgetting the name. Uh, uh, Resty, they are on level five, and others. I don't know, Kathy. Kathy, I think she's on level four, or level five. But now the people who are under those people, I don't benefit. Okay. Uh, when you first pay someone, I don't earn money. So they are my downlines, but I'm not benefiting from them. So most of the time, the people who are selfish, they will go ahead and start disturbing those people who are in those levels below where they are not earning money. Because they know even if they distract you, they are not losing anything. So guys, be careful. Be careful. All right. I've gone to the next point as I'm planning to wind up because I see my time is now far spent. Okay, I'll come, I have finished the advertiser code. I've gone to the next part, the advert coupon. Now, this is a system generated set of numbers which can be used as payment for the advert. It ranges from 10,000. Now you can create an advertisement coupon or an advert coupon. Now this coupon can be used, the way you see an activation code is used to activate. That a person that a person may pay using mobile money or a person may pay using uh, an activation code when they activate their accounts. But the same story, a person may advertise using mobile money or a person may advertise uh, using the advert coupon. Now, this coupon can be generated in the system. If you are a VIP and if you are uh, an agent, you earn three percent on every coupon. Now, we we recently discussed with the, the management. We are going to allow every car account, every member, to be able to create an advert coupon. Okay, because an advert coupon does not attract uh, transaction fees. If you're paying an advert using mobile money, apart from the 10,000 you're paying, they will be charging you. Now imagine uh, a person has given you money in cash, 20,000 to advertise, and you're loading this money on mobile money. The system will charge you transaction fees. But if you had a coupon, you just give them a coupon of 20,000, the coupon is not charged. So it is important every time you're going to be paying uh, for adverts, you use coupons. So we're going to allow, uh, we talked to the technical team to be able to give you guys the button of, advert, of the advert coupon that in case you have float on your account, you don't have to withdraw it. You just create a coupon out of it and you receive the cash from a client and you create a coupon and you'll be able to pay uh, for your bills. Money to pay for the advert, to pay for the advert because on mobile money, there is charges. Are we together? So this advert coupon, how do you create it? Let me show you how do you create an advert coupon. They're going to put this button in every account. That's what we discussed. I believe it will be implemented uh, very, very soon. Uh -huh. But for you, if you are not a VIP and you are not uh, an agent, you will not be able to, uh, to earn the 3% the three percent cash back on every coupon you create is for only agents and VIP. So this is where you come on the dashboard and you create a coupon. You can see this is what they call here, add coupon. So when you come on add coupon, you can come and say, create, create a coupon. So once you create a coupon, this coupon ranges from 10,000. So you can create as many coupons as you can. So you come here, now this time here, you, you put in the amount, for example, 10,000, and you put in your password and you create. Now this coupon will be for 10,000. You can put 20, 30, 40, 50, and once you click, click create, the coupon will come into this area whereby they put my coupons. Now, I'll show you some of my coupons I've created. Now you see these are all my coupons. The coupons I create, so when I run an advert, I don't pay using mobile money. I pay using coupons. In other words, I pay using the money I have earned from the system. You see this coupon? This is the coupon. Amount is for 500. So I ran an advert of 500,000. I created a coupon. 
I have another an, another coupon here. This coupon is for one hundred thousand. And I have another one coupon here. This coupon is for how much? For one million. Imagine a coupon of one million. Now, in a case I'm using mobile money, how much do you think they would charge me to run this advert of one million? It would be too much. So I use a coupon, and uh, I'm I'm saved from the transaction fees of mobile money. So the coupon is very important to be used. Uh, that is the importance of a coupon. Okay, I think I'm very loud and clear, and someone is learning. Okay, uh, I'll go to see how I finish, how I finish. Okay, so I've finished the coupons. You earn the three percent if you are an agent and you are a VIP. And for me, I'm both. I'm a VIP and I'm an agent. Okay. Uh, then the sales point. Every time you run an advert using your advertiser code, uh, you bring business of ten thousand or above. Every ten thousand is equal to one sales point. So these points are the one we are using into rewarding you the sales rewards. You remember the rewards, uh, the 500 US dollars, the 1,000 US dollars, the 5,000 US dollars. This money, uh, this money comes to you if you raise points. Now you can see, uh, these are the points below. You can see here, I have points, uh, personal points. I have 154 points. Each point, each 10,000 is point. So you can multiply this and know how much money so far I have brought personally into advertising businesses. They are 154 points. On level one, I have 44 points. Level two, I have 39 points. At level three, I have seven points. So these are the points you need to raise in your team and you'll be able to be rewarded. Remember, there's no time frame. We keep on accumulating these points. So when you reach uh, 5,000, you will have your 500 US dollars. So you can see my journey, I'm moving. How far have you reached with your journey? Number two, there is what they call qualifying. In order to earn these points, you can see on level one, level two, and level three, and the bonuses on level one, level two, level three, you should at least run an advert. In the personal point, that is what they call qualifying. That in order to earn indirect sales commission from level one up level three of your team, you must advertise at least one advert every month using your advertiser code. That is how you qualify. Okay, I can see someone in the chat box here saying what? Okay, thanks for opening my eyes on Coastline. And uh, Nawe Temagandi, thanks coach. I've learned a lot today. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you so much for the compliment. All right, I think we are continuing. Uh -huh. Tomorrow we shall be, uh, no, on Tuesday, we shall be looking at the tools of our profession. So today we are ending here, uh, however, I haven't shown you how do you uh, change your password. In case you want to change your password, let me go that also and show you people. Some people are, coach, I want to change my password. I think my password is, co is compromised. How do I change my password? This is how you change your password. In case your password is compromised, uh, this is how you change your password. Uh, you just come uh, on here, maybe here on profile. Okay, is it profile? No, 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 not profile. You come on settings, sorry about that. You, you, let me load it. You come here and go on settings. So when you go on settings, uh, on settings where you change your profile, uh, you change your password. Okay, you can see on settings, you put in your, your old password, which you have. Then you put here a new password and uh, you confirm the new password, you update. That's how you change the password. Then how do you verify? Still the same story. You come on the profile, you'll find the verify. Or you can come here on the menu. On the menu here, there is a, there is a button for edit profile. You can change the password. You can change the email, okay? The only thing you cannot change is the phone number and the place of uh, registration, like the region, the region. So you can come here, uh, you go on uh, on settings. So you can see settings, you can, so there's profile, there's edit profile, 
then edit password. So you can click on edit, edit profile and you change your password, you change everything you want to change. Uh, God bless you, I'm ending here today. So you can change your password here, you can put the, the gender, the next of kin, and you update your profile. So thank you so much, guys. I want to thank you for tonight. I think it was a great training, technically. I know not all of us that we are computer wizards, uh, but uh, we learn by doing. Let us keep doing it, practicing it, and teaching our teams. Uh, we shall meet again on Tuesday to learn more about some few areas I haven't tackled on technical, like registration, uh, going deeper into the registration, uh, going deeper into the verification, it is, but I think I have given you a preamble. That will be enough for today. Then we shall have again on Tuesday, we shall look at two, another part. I am seeing hands which are raised. I'm going to give you hands to raise, but let me first read uh, the comments here. Uh, let me first read the comments here. Nawe Temagambie, thanks coach. I have learned a lot, thank you so much. Nafisha says, thanks so much coach, God bless you. Thank you, Nafu Kasaina says, Big up coach, I hope other members take this training serious because there is a lot we don't know. Okay, now wait a minute, says coach, I have someone who forgot the original password. How do you go about that? Okay, Julia Senna says, hey coach, what if someone forgot his password? Uh, how we are humbled. Okay, thanks coach uh, for wonderful presentation. I have learned uh, something good. Now, can you please share that training? All right, and then Send a gala Julia, how can you recover the forgotten password? I've learned a lot, thanks coach. All right, uh, someone was asking me about the forgot password issue. If someone forgot a password, it's very simple. You have to use the website still, you have to use the website uh, to, access, to access your password again. But you should be remembering the email you used, the email, and you should be able to access the email. So once you access the website, you come on login, okay? So you tap login. Let me first go back on the home page here to show you uh, this practically. Uh, it's part of the technical uh, whereby how do you recover your password? So this is how you recover your password. You go back on the website, and once you reach the website, which is www.digitaladverts, .co. So you come here on login. You can see login. So you tap login. So the moment you tap login, you will go on the page where you have to put in your username and the password. But remember, you forgot both of them. You forgot the username, you forgot the password. So you can instead of clicking login here, you click here on forgot your password. It's a question. Did you forget your password? So you click forgot password so once you click forgot password uh you, you click forgot password it will bring you on this page whereby they are asking for your email address that's why it is important when you register in an account don't just put in a fake email address put in an email address you can access all together so you put in your email address for example zion alex like that the moment you put in the, the, the email you click send password recent link so once you click password send password recent link you go in your email you will find that email there okay let me put uh, uh this one uh, because it's one i want I can access easily okay zion alex where are you this one so you go into your email, you access your email. For example, let me do send a password. If you put in an email which is not in the system, it will tell you that the email cannot be found. It means you used a fake email or the email which cannot be accessed. So you go into your Gmail inbox to access uh, this, the said password they are sending you. So you log into your your email either on the phone or on the computer you log into your email the exact email you have put okay that's where they send the reset 